Hi guys, and um, welcome back to some more Watch Dogs 2. I um, thought I'd add a bit of commentary to this video. Um, I'm going across to Alcatraz Island. Um, used to be a, a prison. I uh, can't remember what year it closed down, but um, as soon as I heard Watch Dogs 2 was, was going to be set in San Francisco, I thought, well, they've got to have a mission set on Alcatraz Island, um, preferably involving a, a escape. And um, that's pretty much what happens, um, although it's it's a prisoner that you're trying to break out rather than uh, you know, imprisoned yourself. And so in the second half of this video you're going to see part of a mission where I actually have to break out and um, it's pretty tough to, to work your way down from the rooftop of the prison, um, free a prisoner and then make a run for it. Um, it took me a while to be successful with the mission. but. Um, Hopefully you'll stick around and watch the end of the video for that. Um, it's probably going to be the last, I don't know, six or seven minutes of the video. Um, but up until then, I just thought I would explore Alcatraz Island a bit, just show you what it's like. Um, I think in a minute I'll go over to the t-shirt stand and get myself some new apparel. Here we are now, some pretty cool t-shirts here. And yeah, so... Um, I'm very sorry there's no online hacking videos at the moment for anyone that does watch a few of my videos. Um, I'm sure most of you have heard by now that there's um, a problem with online hacking in general on Watch Dogs 2. Um, they've removed the feature while they try and fix the issue. Um, it's causing a lot of frustration because people actually want to go through the game and always have the threat of hacks and invasions as they're playing. Um, but as it stands, it's just turned off. Um, all you can do in co-op is... Um, Sorry, all you can do online is a bit of co-op, so um, it's not ideal, and it just it just removes the threat of invasions or stops you being able to hack other players, you know, just to, when you're a bit bored of the storyline or just fancy a change. So it's been a week now since release, as I'm recording this, so and people are getting frustrated, you know, understandably. A lot of people bought the game because of the online hacking specifically. I mean. They would obviously go through the story to a certain extent, but um, it's, it's gained a real cult following, the, the online hacking part of the game. Um, I myself have done hundreds of videos on the on the first game, and I was looking forward to diving into the second one, but at the moment it's just not possible. Um, but hopefully they'll get that fixed soon. Um, I think a lot of the problem comes down to the fact that they've tried to do seamless um, online where you don't have a load screen that type of thing and i think that could be causing some of the issues and to be honest i think it's something that no one really asked for you know i mean it's nice to have if it's working but i think people didn't mind loading into someone's game i mean it only took 10 15 seconds to be in someone's game and then in that time you're sort of preparing for the for the hack so um if it is an issue with seamless as to why there's issues, maybe they could just turn it off, you know, have a load screen again or something, but um, what I'm doing now, um, this is a scout location, um, there's different parts of the game where you, um, you get your camera phone out and you have to take a picture. Um, I'm not sure, I think you get, when you get to free, I think you get a, a gesture that you can do, you can do a smile in photos and the more you do, the more the more gestures you unlock. So it's worth doing, I guess. Um, and if you're into collecting trophies as well, I think there's trophies to to be gained as well. So. And this was my second or third, might even might even have been my first one. And um, it sort of it warns you when there's a scout location nearby, and if you're not right on top of it, you can set the waypoint as well. Um, so yeah, back to online hacking. Yeah, it's. At the moment it's just not working. Some people have even argued that they think Ubisoft knew it wouldn't be ready for launch and went ahead with the release anyway, hoping to patch it later. And a few people are even worried that they'll never patch it. Um, as far as I know they have got a history of not always fixing bugs and, and stuff in their game but I really hope that's not the case because you know if so that means they've really underestimated the amount of people that pick this game up for online hacking primarily so uh, watch this space but as soon as online hacking is available I will be delving in um, should be a lot of fun given the new you know the new um, weapons and 
axe at your disposal. Um, and now I'm in the prison, as you can see, just having a look around, making my way up to the reef just for a I thought I'd go up and um, use the drone just to get a panoramic of the of the island, which I'm about to do once I get up there. Um, actually, I think what I'm doing first is, um, as you can see on the mini map in the top, sorry, the bottom left hand corner, there's a I think it's a research point that I'm after. Um, the research points are what gets you your skill upgrades, well what were called skill upgrades in the first game. Um, they're called research points in this one and you spend them to sort of get better abilities in combat, in hacking, um, you can upgrade your RC car and you can upgrade the, the drone as well, stuff like that. So it's well worth getting the research points as soon as you can really. And some are in, you know, just um, in certain areas. And having said that, you, you might want to scrap that. This might actually be a, I'm not sure if it's a research point or a um, key data. Um, it might be key data. I can't, I can't remember. We'll see in a second when I get to it. Um, key data is used for unlocking parts of the skill tree that are locked off. Um, so again, you have to go to different parts of the map to find these. Um, let's see what it is now. Um, it is key data. Yeah, so the, you know it's essential to get key data. I think is this the one? This might be the one for the remote control stuff. I can't remember. But what I would say also is make sure you get the key data for the um, RC car and drone as early as possible because when you get to some missions. Um, where you have to sort of infiltrate bases and the FBI headquarters, um, you really need the zapper and the, um, the mobile IED dropper, both for the RC car and the drone, because without them, it just makes the missions a lot harder. So yeah, I'd advise going and get the key data as soon as possible. Um, and yeah, here I am on the roof, just taking a look around and. I do love the control of the drone and the, the car, they're so so smooth to use, they're not, they're not tricky to use at all. Um, this feels very much like using the Batarang in the, um, the Batman Arkham games, um, if you're familiar with those, so very similar. Um, and just, just some words on the game in general, uh, apart from my disappointment about online hacking obviously, um, I'd just say it's, it's such an improvement over the first game. Um, it might not look like it you know, just from a visual point of view, but the amount of things you can hack, um, the humour, um, it's not so much repetition, I wouldn't say. Um, it's got more of a Grand Theft Auto feel to the satire, definitely. Um, the only thing I do miss from the first game, personally, is the I did like the moody, sort of noir feel to it, um, which is obviously gone. Um, and I, I did prefer the on-screen icons as well in the first game, like when you go up to a person, I just preferred, preferred the way they were presented, as you can, you can see some there actually. Um, yeah, I preferred how they were in the first game, but that's just cosmetic. But um, Yeah, I missed, missed the edgy, um, serious feel of the first game, um, but I, I already, always knew I would, and I think other people were going to miss it more than they realised as well. Um, I've already seen some people saying they miss sort of Aiden and the serious tone to the game, but that aside, I think in terms of actual pure fun gameplay, it's definitely an improvement. Um, and a couple of uh, glitches aside, it's, it's a fantastic game. Um, and speaking of glitches, that is something, if you're into your glitches, that's still something that's in the game. Um, people are still wall breaching, um, people are still going under the map. Um, I was surprised the first the first video I actually uploaded was a, a glitch with a motorbike where I jumped off it on the, uh, the San Francisco Golden Gate Bridge and it just started driving backwards without me on it. Um, uploaded that clip and it's it's become my most viewed Watch Dogs video so far, which um, I was surprised about. Um, and what I'm doing now is um, I noticed a, a t-shirt icon on the map. So I'm just going after that, and I was actually pretty surprised what it relates to when I, when I get there in a minute. Um, even though it's a t-shirt icon, it isn't actually not uh, a t-shirt that I'm 
Basically, I have to take out this small. I don't know why they're here, but the small gang of armed men, and I'm just using the stun gun here. It's just easier if you don't attract attention. And yeah, once I've taken them out, I go and get the the item of clothing. And this is sort of um, a rare item or an Easter egg item, I'd say. Um, This wasn't particularly difficult this bit, I was expecting more of a challenge from these guys, but... Another thing I would advise doing early on in this game as well is making sure you go and get the um, silence suppressed pistol from um, from the hacker space where you go into the 3D printer where you get your weapons. I didn't have it for a lot of missions I needed it for. And it just feels like when you're in a firefight you die a lot quicker in this one. Um, so it's always good to have, yeah, a suppressed pistol. And you may have seen just then, by the way, um, I picked up the, I don't know what you call it, the, um, what do you call them, the face mask or whatever, you, whatever you call it anyway, um, we'll see in a minute. And it was a limited edition one, it's, uh, it's a Twin Peaks one, basically. Um, and I'm a big fan of Twin Peaks, some people may not be aware of it, but it's a cult cult show from the 1990s, um, directed by David Lynch, um, it's about, it all resolves, yeah it's a face mask sorry, and it, it all resolves around the story of a girl called Laura Palmer who's murdered and you know suspicion falls on everyone in the town basically and it's just a really surreal um, sort of soap opera and it's coming back for a, a new series, series 3 which is going to be out next year and it's it's kind of got everyone hyped because it's going to be 25 years since the last series, so a huge gap between series. And yeah, there you go, there's the mask. Um, at some point I want to check that mask out up closer, but I couldn't seem to zoom in um, in the game, so I'll just have to pan and zoom in on that somehow, but unfortunately you're not going to see that in this video. But yeah, it's a nice, nice, nice little Easter egg anyway. Um, and this is the mission now. This is me escaping from Alcatraz and I hope I've started in the right place anyway. Oh no, this is me coming up to the cutscene before I'm going on in to try and fight free the prisoner. And I'm not going to talk over this bit but I'll add a bit of commentary afterwards but I hope you just enjoy this escape. Should do it. There's more footage than I thought there would be. This is going to take a while. I can wait. I got one hell of a view.
Okay, so as you can see, I've made it out of the prison. Um, just trying to find the quickest way down to um, the, the boat to escape. It's obviously night time now, um, so the island looks a bit different. Um, and yeah, just a really good side mission. Um, unfortunately, I don't know the name of this side mission. I was trying to have a quick search before I recorded this commentary, but I, I couldn't find it. But I would advise just doing the odd side mission until you get to do this one. It's pretty good fun. Um, and it's quite. This is only the last part of it. I should have added. Um, you have to do three side missions. I mean, it's all within the same side mission. But there's three different areas you have to go to, and you have to set traps for sort of incoming enemies and stuff. Um, it's really well done. And then finally you get to Alcatraz and have to do all this. So yeah, it's well worth doing. Um, it just feels like a main mission that isn't. Anyway, that's it. And I um, hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully some online hacking coming soon. Thanks for watching.